now our Sunday Spotlight, a new series from our ABC News political team, 14 for 14. We're breaking down the key races to watch this year, and we're starting with one of the hottest Senate showdowns, pitting a veteran Democrat against a rising Republican star with control of the Senate at stake. Here's ABC's Jeff Zeleny in Arkansas. A few things are certain in Arkansas politics. The importance of a handshake, the annual raccoon supper, and a prior on the ballot. Senator Mark Pryor's father, David, was also a senator who started running for office nearly a half century ago. But as Mark Pryor fights for a third term, keeping that Democratic dynasty alive won't be easy. Republicans have high hopes here. The party needs only six seats to win control of the Senate. I don't want to be cocky about it. I know I have a hard race on my hands. I completely understand uh, what I'm up against here. He's up against Tom Cotton, who Republicans see as a rising conservative star. I'm good, I'm good, good to see you. Are you enjoying the campaign trail? After only seven months as a congressman, you announced that you were running for the Senate. Some said you're in a hurry, are you? <laughs> I would say I am in a hurry. Uh, you know, I've been in Washington for a year now, and I've seen a lot of problems that need to be fixed. You've been called one of the new faces of the Hell No Caucus. Well, uh, I would like to say yes, but uh, if the president continues to propose higher taxes and more spending, then uh, I will be saying no. Cotton grew up on a farm here in central Arkansas. It seems as if he's been preparing for this moment all his life. Two Harvard degrees and two tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. And along the way, he grew up watching another kid from rural Arkansas rise from governor to the White House. What kind of effect did that have on a young boy from Arkansas? Well, it got, certainly got me interested in politics. It was really my first time to think much about politics or, or government. He may have drawn his inspiration from Clinton, but not his ideology. Even among the state's four other Republican congressmen, Cotton stands out. He was the only one to oppose a version of the farm bill because he said it spent too much money. Pryor is using that and other votes to build his argument that cotton is extreme. That's one thing that we see with my opponent is that not only is he out of step with Arkansas, he's out of step with the Arkansas Republicans. I'm a more old school uh, senator. I want to I want to work in a very bipartisan way. But are voters still in the market for a bipartisan senator? particularly in a state where President Obama's policies like health care are so unpopular. How big of a political weight is this around your neck? You know, I think time will tell. I want the legislation to work. Here's the thing about my Republican colleagues in Washington. They do not want to see us fix this. They want it to fail. Millions of dollars have already been spent on television. Mark Pryor cast the deciding vote. Tom Cotton should be running, not for higher office, but running from his own record. But Pryor hopes personal loyalty trumps party identity. It's not about party labels, and Arkansas has a long history of splitting tickets. Thank you very much for letting me take part tonight. Cotton, still unknown to many voters, has turned to his mother to help introduce him. Christmas was harder when our son was in Afghanistan. But as the band played on, there was Senator Pryor shaking hands with Cotton's parents. He won't get their vote, but it's a good reminder. Democratic habits run deep. Even Cotton's parents had never voted Republican before. My father's first vote in the Republican primary was in 2012 for my race, and uh, I had to convince him pretty hard to do that. I think over time, uh, more Arkansans are realizing that at least in Washington, D.C., the Democratic Party doesn't stand for Arkansas values. But Cotton must now convince voters that he does one handshake at a time. For this week, Jeff Zeleny, ABC News, Gillette, Arkansas. Thanks to Jeff. Check out our new series from the ABC News political team, 14 for 14 at abcnews.com, and submit your vote for the race you want us to cover. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the name of one soldier killed in Afghanistan. That's all for us today. Thank you for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight and join us Tuesday for President Obama's State of the Union Address. Diane Sawyer and George Stephanopoulos lead our coverage beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. Have a great day.